The skipjacks that dredge oysters from the bottom of Chesapeake Bay have been a part of Maryland's way of life for more than a hundred years. These picturesque boats, which have evolved as the best type for dredging oysters under sail, are slowly disappearing. For a century, Maryland law has required oyster dredgers in the Chesapeake to work only under sail as a conservation measure to preserve the oyster population. But because the oyster beds in the past have been scraped too clean, the number of good beds, or rocks as they are called, has diminished. With them have gone most of the skipjacks, sails hooped to raking masts pulling their dredges back and forth across the bottom. Less than a hundred remain to recall a nearly vanished heritage. Many of these remnants of the last working sailboat fleet in America were built before the turn of the century. Their proud bows may turn aside the salty bay water for only a few more years. For as long as oyster boats have sailed the bay, rugged men have scraped a living from the bottom. From November to March, from sunup to sundown, in fair weather and foul, as long as the wind is good, they dredge from the Chesapeake and its tributaries, one of America's favorite delicacies. When the oysters are plentiful, and the market is good, the living is good. Often the living is not very good. the dredges come aboard. The marketable oysters are culled out and the rest shoveled back. Slowly the day's catch grows. Some days at the beginning of the season, on a good rock, a boat can catch five bushels each lick. More often though, it takes five or six licks to get a bushel. After each lick, the captain brings his boat about and tacks back across the rock for another lick. Dredging back and forth at random ensures that the bottom will not be scraped clean, that some oysters will be left to reproduce themselves. After a long morning of hard work, the crew gathers in the small cabin. Huh? You up there, steps? Not. <laughs> so, I leave enough to load me, uh, uh, I mean half load me, I load her, and leave 
run out the half loader, kid, and go back the next day, be raining or blowing, and go right back there and get a nose jack. And I made a little bit of money. The boat is allowed to rest, hove to. Party meals aboard oyster boats are made to order for hungry men. Every man who has known a skipjack will tell you that every inch of its rugged hull is pure boat, solidly put together, strong and true. At home, the families of the oystermen wait for the boats to return. Cambridge, Maryland is one of the small Chesapeake Bay towns that has harbored sailing ships for more than a hundred years. The oyster industry is a principal source of livelihood for the people of Cambridge. that shuck oysters know just where to pry, where to twist, where to cut. Dragging dredges from both sides of his boat, a skipjack captain needs a practiced eye and a hand that knows the response of his boat to the various moods of wind and water. Last licks of the day have been made. Some of the skipjacks trim their sails and set a course for a nearby cove, where they'll drop anchor for the night. Others sail for home to sell their oysters to a dockside packing plant. boats with inboard engines, yawl boats, push the skipjacks into harbor.
man, you got enough. Unloading the boats, some heavily laden, others not so lucky, often last long after the sunset. On weekends, the harbor holds its dwindling collection. The skipjacks moored together speak quietly. They speak of salt spray and sun, of icy wind and battering rain, of sparkling waves and strong breezes that have heeled them over until their rails slice through the water. They speak of the men who built them to do a job, and of the men who sailed them, of nights crisp and clear, of the smell of countless oysters on their decks. They speak of early mornings when their ancient silhouettes move slowly toward the bay, and of the gentle evening winds that have brought them back so many times. And they speak of years long past, when their numbers were so great that a man could walk from one boat to another across the harbor. Every season, one or two are retired. months may bring cold and rain, sleet and snow. Yet each day of the season, as they have done for generations, the men of Maryland's oyster fleet take their skipjacks out into the Chesapeake to meet the sunrise. 